My brother, when you don't prioritize your inner world, you sabotage your outer one. Your outer world gets sabotaged by your lack of prioritization around your inner conflict, your demons, the things that you're refusing to face. Because personal well being enhances professional performance. We know this as high achievers, as entrepreneurs, as men who make things happen. If we're not prioritizing our inner world, if we're not handling, right, if we're emotionally procrastinating, if your inner world is like a stack of mail that's just piling up, that you're not tending to, that you're not dealing with, that is a form of self neglect. And that self neglect is going to do what? Not allow you to operate at peak performance. And so you're going to be in a constant state of just trying to fix issues all the time. You're going to be operating from a sense of fear and urgency inside your life. Dissociation, denial, evasion, escaping. When we do that, we have vices and self-destructive behaviors. I know because I've been there. I'm speaking from experience. And if you're used to building big things in your life, then you have to know that you're going to sabotage your business. You're going to sabotage the beautiful blessings that God has given you in your life. If you don't prioritize your inner world, what kind of message do we send ourselves when we don't prioritize our inner world, bro? You know what the message is that I don't matter that you don't matter. You know, my question for you is who sent you that message? Where did you receive that message? Where did you internalize that message that you don't matter? Because the more that you show yourself that you don't matter, the more that other people begin to treat you in accordance with the way you treat yourself. We get upset all the time, like people don't respect my boundaries, when sometimes we don't even respect our own. Victimhood can become very comfortable when it's all you're used to. Blaming the external, pointing your finger, externalizing onto other people what's wrong and why it's wrong. But all that's doing is preventing you from moving forward in your life, preventing you from looking at the man in the mirror, the only person that we truly can change because that's where the rubber meets the road on the road, less traveled. When we realize to create a new version of us, we have to evolve just like how we have in the past. So my brother, if nobody's told you this today, you deserve to prioritize your inner world, your inner conflict and your demons so that you can operate into the fullness of the potential and the blessings and the gifts that God has for your life. The devil's first name is tomorrow. So stop waiting.